investigating the impact of logging intensity and fire frequency on the relative abundance of Trichosaurus perpetua over time at Helden Hills in Australia, a study by Samara Higgety. The common brush-tailed possum Trichosaurus perpetua is a mid-sized nocturnal arboreal marsupial native to the eucalypt woodlands of Australia. It is currently a least concerned species and occurs rarely to commonly throughout its range. Current threats include native and introduced predators and changed fire regimes causing the loss of hollow bearing trees which are required for breeding. Previous studies have found that fire and logging practices have the potential to influence the abundance of wildlife species as seen here. There are a lot of studies investigating the effect of logging and fire intensity on wildlife but fewer studies on the effect of fire frequency. The aim of my study was to use statistical analysis to investigate the effect of fire frequency and logging intensity on the relative abundance of Trichosaurus perpetua and determine if this changed over time between 2010 and 2017 as measured by the mean number of possums per 100 trap nights at study sites located in Helen Hills, Australia. The map here shows the location of the study sites in Helen Hills in southeast Queensland. Shown here are the names and locations of each study site. Each of the properties differed in its fire frequency and logging intensity, as outlined here. Yearly sampling using cage traps was conducted over three days at each site. Cage traps were positioned a short distance from the centre of Elliot trap lines that were being sampled at the same time. The Elliot trap lines were placed 200 metres apart. My results indicated that the relative abundance of possums was significantly affected by fire frequency, as you can see from the p-value of less than 0.05. Here the graph shows that the relative abundance of possums was highest on properties with a low fire frequency. This is corroborated by the results of several other studies. These results could be explained by possums finding single fires easier to adapt to than repeated fires. More frequent fires could destroy hollow bearing trees and cause possums to relocate to more suitable areas. In addition, the available resources of a frequently burnt area may be lower and predation rates may be higher due to a lack of suitable cover. Logging intensity and year did not significantly impact possum abundance. The non-significant impact of logging was unexpected due to the possum's reliance on hollows for breeding, but this could be explained by possums utilising tree hollows in adjacent areas or using alternate forms of shelter. In conclusion, my study found that the relative abundance of brush tail possums was significantly affected by fire frequency. These results could be useful to wildlife managers hoping to conserve brush tail possums where they are threatened or other mid-sized arboreal marsupials. However, infrequent burning may not benefit all species, so further research should be undertaken.